Hey, good morning, scrappers and scrapettes. How are we all doing today? Uh, yeah, the lights. So I started breaking them down. And uh, so, hope you all can hear me. Hope you can see a little good. So basically, here's the light. And uh, got a whole assortment. Because we're going to sit, like I said, we're going to do the assembly line. I already got a bunch already done, taken, you know, at least somewhat stripped down. Got a drill set up with the 11 millimeter. Got a drill set up with the T20. Got a drill set up with the Phillips. The impact, this one works really good. So basically what I started with is... Uh, let's get the gloves on here because this sheet aluminum on the inside the reflective is sharp so you just pop right out and I tell you some of the the bulbs that are in here are pretty wild Let's get a little closer so we got these guys they're LED I think they're LED I'm not positive but uh 400 watt, 320 watt Susan lamp. And then we have the traditional ones here. Then we got this crazy guy right here, the Lunera. And you can barely read the print on this thing. 20,000, 20,000 loom. It's an LED. Look at that thing. I think it's crazy. So, like I said, we so far that's been the three different bulbs that we've dealt with. And then the way I was, I, I started doing it is I just go right through with the, with the 11. I want to get, I want to get the sheet metal out of the way because it's sharp and it's in the way. So. Each heat shield has five bolts on it, and it also holds the glass in place. So, as soon as you do it, it loosens it up, get it right out of the way. Get the glass out of the way so we don't break it. All the dead bugs. That's a nice piece of glass, though. And it is thick. It is heat resistant. I do know that. I doubt this shatterproof. I'm sure if this hit the ground, it would definitely shatter. So, throw it off to this bottom here. And now we got a little more room. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take the train. Former out of the way. And the way I was doing it is seeing I'm here, anything that has the 11 millimeter bolt or nut is coming right out. There you go. Those are all out. And then on the back of the light bracket, the socket, there's two Phillips. Snap these right out. And then <clears throat> the mounting plate has a real nice piece of steel. Uh, I am actually going to keep a few of these because these make great mountain brackets because that's exactly what they are. So let's go ahead and snip some wires. So right now I'm just keeping everything in the way. Uh, just in the hole. Get 
All the connections cut. We'll go ahead and grab the transformer. I've been grabbing it by the wire, pulling it right off the housing. And there's the transformer. Thousand watt transformer. This is uh, shred steel, it's magnetic. Thousand watt transformer. At least that's what I've been reading on them anyways. This goes all the way up to 60 amp. Yep, thousand watt transformer. And now this one here is copper and copper. It's got two pieces in here. Let's just go ahead and double check. That one's copper. We'll snip on the upper one. If you can see it, of course you can't see it too far away because I'm way, I'm way over here. I'm sorry. Uh, this is copper as well. Like I said, this is weighing about 20 pounds. So I have the copper. Then we have the prepared steel. And yes, I'm going to crack these. You get more money if you crack them open. Uh, so basically, you know, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grind here, grind here, put it down, smash it. And pop this right off. Probably do another video on that. I mean, you guys, I did show a video on these, but we'll do another one. We've got a pallet going on over here for those. And then we have the, uh, this is where the T20 bit will come in, comes in handy. And out comes the capacitor. Now on the capacitor on the wires, is one of my favorite things. If I can get the wire off. Get the brass connection right there on the end, and yes, I'm a micro scrapper, so yes, I will cut that off. Because that's me. I like brass. Brass and copper, my two favorites. Capacitors, unfortunately, these uh, just go in shred. My yard doesn't take them separately. So, in the shred it goes. Piece that was covering is actually uh, aluminum. I did have a magnet here. I don't know where it went. I honestly don't. How about that, guys? Yeah, I lost one of my favorite magnets. All right, and we're back. So, it's actually aluminum, so that's good. It's money, so that'll go on a pile. And then we got the backing plate for the light. That is, is magnetic, so that's metal. Into the shred that goes. And then we get all the wiring. Oh, so we got a T20 bit, holding on that. Get the wire now on this here pull the casing off that's you know garbage and then we have the, and then we have the we have the socket now with the socket side we have the brass it's four screws in there take out four of those screws the inner housing is brass actually the screws are actually brass as well the middle plate is brass then you get the wire you can try to get these two pieces here out but you gotta smash it to get them I don't know I maybe will so these are going to separate pile as well. Then we have the housing. Like I said, we got to use a, uh, a T20. Let me get these stupid clips off. And these clips are these clips of steel. So those two walls are going to shred. I'm just going to go ahead and when I'm doing it, put the whole thing. I'm not going to use my pliers, but I'm going to use, you know, I'm going to use a hammer. Got a 
hiding T20. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but we got these screws right here. Those gotta come out and those require the impact. They hold on this plate right here. And on this plate, you got the threaded, which this whole plate comes out. Once you take these uh, one, two, three, four screws out, and then these all got just punch right out because you got to have clean aluminum. Everything else in this is aluminum except for these. And then, like I said, all these, you know, the threaded, the mounted threadings, they all pop right out. Just hit them with a hammer, they pop right out, and then we go from there. Sorry about my boy uh, screaming. It's over there crowing away. Uh, so this is a pile of the reflectors that's beginning. Like I said, I already worked on. So I already started. I had to start. I can't. I can't wait. Got to get them done. We need to get the money in the bank. We'll start that off. Got some transformers there. Some on the ground. Some more of those crazy lights. There's those other bulbs. And we're getting it down. And yes, that is my. Uh, my little cool off pool yes i have it set up with a filter and everything else believe it or not this is just from the rain from the winter that's crazy i got pumped out. i think i pumped it out twice already and yes i have filtration system for it and everything so yeah it's crazy uh so yeah like i was saying we still got, we got a lot to go folks we got a lot to do lot to do lot to do so we're gonna get going with this we're gonna keep it going keep it running keep it moving so please like subscribe hit that bell for updates on what's going on and let's leave it better than we found it all right kids <laughs> guys gals scrappers and scrapettes there's a thumbs up i got work to do oh i got work to do all right folks till then we'll talk to you later